it's Jackie. Okay, so I have been wanting to color my hair forever. This beautiful purple shade. I finally did it. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm just obsessed with this shade and no, I didn't really color my hair. I really did want to color this color. I thought it was amazing, but um, my husband nixed the whole idea, so I bought a wig instead, which I think is really equally as fabulous and now I can buy, you know, like more in several more shades and, you know, mix and match and play with it all the time. So my hair doesn't get the damage, but I still get the fun. Um, I'm obsessed with it. I love it. I'm wearing a wig today because um, it's the day to wear a wig today. It's just the day that we're having. So we're going to wear the wig. Um, okay, let's go ahead and start up with my favorites for the week. All right, so as you guys are well aware, um, the Pantone color of the year is Radiant Orchid, which, you know, really can go anywhere between like, um, you know, they're kind of playing with it a lot. Um, I think this is pretty close to the actual shade that it is on my lips. Um, but it can be really anything that has even more of a little bit of a blue tone in it and then more of a little bit of a pink tone. So I have a couple things actually in my favorites today that kind of fall into this shade range. Um, this is the first one. Now this is more of like a periwinkle type of shade. This is a single from Merle Norman and this is in the shade Lilac Luster. Now, this is such a pretty, like, almost like a duochrome, lilac-y, periwinkle shade. I absolutely love this color. Um, I'm wearing it in the inner corners of my eyes today, just right here, um, you know, towards the inner shade. I just found that it popped up the other color that I was wearing on my eyes. Um, I started doing this video a minute ago and my battery died, so I started over again. But this is that shade swatched. Um, it's just so pretty. It can be worn on its own or, you know, paired with you know, a bunch of different shades, and the shade that I paired it with today, this is from the Bare Minerals Ready Quad, and these are, this is called the Dream Sequence, and it's four shades right here, and this right here was like the standout why I bought this quad shade. Look at at that. It is so beautiful. It's like this duochrome from like this beautiful lilac -y lavender to like a more fuchsia shade. I absolutely am like dying for it. Um, it is a little on the powdery side so I had to be careful when applying it. Um, there it is swatched right there. It is absolutely gorgeous and all the shades in this palette are so pretty. So nice and creamy. You have this beautiful matte like plum shade, this gorgeous sort of, you know, amethyst taupe shade um, that's very, you know, metallic and shimmery, and then this beautiful matte cream shade. So these could all be worked together. You could pull out, you know, one or two of these colors. So this is a really beautiful, versatile palette. If you are looking for, you know, kind of that color of the year that everybody is, you know, raving about, I think that this is a good way to go. Um, if you're looking for what is on my lips right now, I absolutely am going to run out and get more of this specific color line. I think it's amazing. Um, I love the color payoff that it gives you. It's so creamy, it's smooth, it's silky, and I love it. Um, this is the Maybelline New York. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Um, the Elixir the, from their Color Sensational line. And this is in the shade Vision and Violet. Um, I'm wearing it on my lips right now. And so this is what it looks like. It has this little Dofa applicator that's got this little angle to it. So it's nice and easy to apply to your lips. Um, the packaging is really cute. It looks like it's a little lipstick, which is pretty accurate because it is a pretty full-on color. Um, it can be sheared out, but I find that being worn more opaque um, looks better because when it's a little more sheer, the color can have a tendency to kind of look patchy a little bit. Um, so I will show you a swatch on my hand. But there it is right there. It is absolutely beautiful. Obviously, you don't have to wear this much purple on your face. But I 
you know, I'm crazy and I'll wear them all together. I don't even care. I love them. I love that color and I'm definitely going to get more from this line um, for sure. So this is another one of my favorites. I picked this up from Sephora and I think this is awesome. Okay, so I did try, this is the, um, it's the foundation, their um, airbrush foundation, their misting foundation and I absolutely love this. Um, the coverage on this is fantastic, but it's so lightweight. Now, you can actually spray this on your face, and the directions say, you know, you can either spray this on your face or on the brush, and I've done it both ways. I find when I spray it on my face, it gets, like, everywhere. I mean, everywhere. So, I really don't prefer that method. Um, what I've been doing is using my um, little, what is this called, the Custom Coverage Buffing Brush from EcoTools. I've been spraying the foundation with it and then just going ahead and buffing it on my brush. I have to spray like four or five sprays onto the brush to get my whole face. And then I can go back actually with um, just like a little concealer type brush and touch up any areas that it may have missed, any sort of blemishes or anything. So it builds up really well. It is really long wearing and it's so lightweight on your skin. So I think that this is gonna be great for summer. You know, those girls that want something that is still full coverage, I mean, some girls really wanna wear full coverage all the time and you don't care what season it is. That's, you know, kind of how I am. So that is a good alternative. I think that's gonna be great for the summertime. I mean, I will definitely put it to the test because I live in Florida and it is hotter than heck here. Okay, so um, I think this is last on my list. Oh, I've got to show you those little comic things too. Um, almost last on my list. This is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin. I got this when I um, went shopping at Ulta. They've been giving these away all month with their little 21 Days of Beauty thing. Um, and I've kind of heard mixed reviews on the It's a 10 thing. Some people really like it, some people don't. I actually really, really love this. I've kind of been using this as an in-between, um, just as almost sort of like a refresher spray for my hair. Like the other night I had gone ahead, I had curled my hair and I still had sort of, you know, it was like, fr it was humid outside and it was still kind of frizzy. You know, my hair looked a little crunchy and weird and I went ahead and I just misted this through I sprayed my hands through and it completely took care of everything it gave me shine it gave you know I, it just looked perfect I absolutely loved it so I have three of these I'm definitely going to use these up and I will probably repurchase this when I go through everything um let me grab those nail things not too far away thankfully okay um so it looks like one of the little packets has gone missing. Whatever. Um, meh. Uh, these are the Heart to Art uh, Comic Nation tattoo papers. Thank God I can pick things up with my toes. Um, you get 20, it's four different designs that you get in this. This is another design. And then they had just like what's on my main nails is just like the little, you know, speech bubble type. Um, just the black and white ones, but they're so cute. These are so fast to go on your nails. I think it's such a great value. I, this is $3 at Walmart, and I can get four nails out of one sheet. So, you know, with five sheets in the thing, you get many, many manicures, you know, per design. You can mix up the designs. They all kind of complement each other. They usually come in this four pack like this, but these are definitely worth the try for three bucks. Pick them up. Um, they're usually in like the little nail section at Walmart, kind of underneath. They're kind of hidden and tucked away. You need to look for them. But that was my favorites for the week. And I hope you guys have a great day. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.